Hello, my name is Sonia Trevino and I'm with the Houston Homes Legacy Group. I am a real estate agent in the state of Texas and I am located in the area of the Woodlands, Spring and Conroe areas. Today, I am here to talk to you about a great benefit that is provided to us by the state of Texas, and that would be your general residential homestead exemption. So what is the general residential homestead exemption? This exemption allows you to take a discount on your property taxes. So for example, if the county has evaluated your property at 200,000 and the discount that you qualify for, depending on your county and your schools is let's say 20%. So you get 20% off the 200,000, which is 40,000 that you would be discounted. So in this case, you would only pay taxes on 160,000 value on your property. So now I'm gonna go in and show you step by steps how you too can take advantage of this great discount that the state of Texas has allowed us as homeowners to qualify for. I will be showing you how to go in, how to log on, how to find the correct form, and then I will go step by step showing you how to fill it out and how to submit it, along with the proper documentation that you will need in order to qualify for this exemption. So if you would like to apply for your residential homestead exemption uh, online, I'm gonna be showing you the steps to do that. So you would start with google.com. You go in the search bar and you're gonna put hcad.org. HCAD means Harris County Appraisal District. So you click on that. And then you're gonna to go to the main page, Harris County Appraisal District. And that will bring you up to this page. So you're gonna scroll over uh, to where it says forms and you're gonna to wanna to select all forms. Once you get to all forms, you're gonna scroll all the way down to the section that speaks about the different exemptions. So we're gonna go for the homestead exemption form, which is right here. This would be the one used for a general residential, if you're over 65, disabled, or you're an over 55 surviving spouse. So once you click on that, it's gonna take you to the form. It's loading now. So then you're gonna to want to start up here at the top and it's gonna ask you for the account number. Now, in order to go uh, and find the account number, you're gonna to wanna to open another tab. Once again, you're gonna to go to hcad.org, go to the main page, but this time you're gonna to wanna to go to property search and go down to real property. This will give you the opportunity to search by account number, which is what we're trying to locate, so we're not gonna go there. So you're gonna to wanna to go to either your owner name or you can search by address. So for example, I'm gonna pull one up in Harris County and just to show you where you can go to locate the account number. So you're gonna put the address in, you're gonna hit click, and the account number is gonna be right here at the very top of the property record, okay? Another thing that it's gonna ask in the form is legal description. So that you're gonna be able to get right here. So the legal description is gonna be lot, block, section, and that is where you can get it. So there'll be two pieces of information that you will need off this form. The owner, uh, I'm sorry, the account number and the legal description, okay? So let's go back to the form. You're gonna to wanna to input the account number in this space. And then the next question is gonna be, do you own and live in the property for which you are seeking this homestead exemption? So you're gonna to wanna to hit yes. And you're gonna continue going down. And if you purchased your home last year and you did not uh, own any, have any other home where you have the exemption, you're gonna to wanna to select general residence homestead exemption. Now, if you are a disabled person or you're over 65, you can also select one of these or any of these other options. Normally, this is the one that you're gonna to wanna to select. So you're gonna fill that out if you are a surviving spouse. You're also gonna to want to uh, answer these questions. So this is if you're um, occupying a property where you have the exclusive right okay because you own stock so this would probably more than likely be no you're gonna want to ask um, or answer were you receiving a homestead exemption on your previous residence more than likely it's gonna be yes 
And are you transferring an exemption from a previous residence? More than likely, again, that's gonna be yes. Are you transferring a tax limitation? Um, most likely it's gonna be no. So they're gonna to wanna to know the previous address that you had your last homestead exemption on. And then it's gonna ask for the owner's information. So you're gonna go in here and you're gonna fill out everything for property owner number one, birthday, driver's license. Another point, um, now that we get to the driver's license, you are gonna to need to have the property for which you are seeking the exemption, you're gonna to have to have that address on your driver's license, okay? So you're gonna fill all that out for property owner uh, number one. Same here, if it's two owners, you're gonna do the same thing for property owner number two. Okay, so as we proceed to section number three, what they're gonna want here is a little bit of information as far as the property goes. So the first question is the date that you acquired this property. That would be the date that you closed the sale uh, or the purchase on this property. The next box is the date that you began occupying the property as your principal residence. So in order to um, be approved for this residence, uh, residential exemption, you do need to occupy the property on the first day of January of the year that you're seeking. So then they want the physical address of the property here, and then they want the legal description. Again, the legal description is found where I showed y'all prior, and it's gonna be on the same uh, property records over here where it says legal description. So you're just gonna wanna input that information you can copy and paste it and bring it over to this form and you're gonna to wanna to input there. So there you have your legal description, okay? The next uh, question is if your name up is on the actual deed, more than likely it is. There's uh, some instances where it may not be, but 99% um, of the time you will be on the deed that you're applying for. They will ask for the record, uh, record or filing number of the deed. So that will be stamped on the deed that you got back from the title company when you went to closing. If you cannot locate it, then that's something that I can help you with. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, the next question is, is the property for which this application is submitted, is it an heir uh, property? So is it an inheritance, yes or no? And do other heirs live on the property? So if it's yes, there will be some additional documents that they will require. Um, the next question is, is any portion of the property for which you are claiming a residence exemption income producing? So if you have um, one property with an apartment in the back or additional housing on the house and a part of it is income producing, then you do need to answer yes. And if you do answer yes, you, they wanna know what's the percentage, okay? And also the acreage that is located on. If you are a resident of a facility, um, like a nursing home or something like that, then they do want to know the facility name here. And these are some more questions that they ask. Are you an active duty U.S. Armed Services member? Uh, do you hold a driver's license under the Transportation Code Section 521? Um, so these are going to be self-explanatory. Um, if you own other residential property in the state of Texas, they would want you, they do want you to fill in these locations here. Okay, so that's all the information that they ask you for. The next thing you do is you're going to type type your name there, and um, that's as far as it's going to let me go without actually submitting it. But you will be filling out your name here, your title, which would be owner, your signature, and the date. And you come over here to the right and you will hit submit and sign at that point they will ask you for proof of residence so you're going to want to go over here with this paper clip and it will let you upload a copy of your driver's license and that is it folks i uh, hope that this was helpful to you if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me i'd be more than happy to help you with this process so I hope that this information has been helpful for you um, and that you will take advantage of the general residential homestead exemption that the state of Texas provides for its homeowners. It is a very important uh, process in order to not only obtain the discount on your property taxes, it is also meant to protect a surviving spouse and their children from a forced sale of their home. So again, if you have any questions, any concerns or doubts as far as how to fill out this form, feel free to give me a call at 
1066, or you can email me at Sonia, S-O-N-I-A, at HoustonHomesLegacy.com. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you.